Hello there, my beautiful friend. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is going to be a beautiful flow all about the hips. We're actually going to start this one in a yogi squat. So go ahead and pause me and grab your block or a bolster if that's more comfortable for you. And we're going to start at the back of our mat. So let's go ahead and meet in our most beautiful yogi squat. I'm going to have my block for my sits bones to rest on. But like I said, a bolster is a good option here too. And if you don't want to use the blocks or bolsters, go ahead and meet me in a yogi squat. Using the elbows to push against the knees, hands at heart center. Lift up through the chest here. And let's go ahead and try to close down the eyes, seeing how that feels. A lot of pressure in the hip space. A very different way to start our practice. How does this position, first thing, make you feel? Does it make you feel slightly out of control? Because it's out of comfort? Or does it light that inner spark? Because it's different. Just going inside, noticing the feelings, being the observer. We can begin to gain the control of our breath right now. Noticing that beautiful ebb and flow that it naturally has. Well, I'll take one more solid inhale and exhale here. butterfly those eyelids open here if you want to remove the blocker bolster be my guest we're going to bring our hands to the mat in front of us and on an inhale we're going to lift our booties up towards the sky heel toe the feet together parallel at the mat for half lift kind of situation here and then on an exhale we're coming back down you can allow the feet to point out to the outer edges yogi squat we're gonna do this two more times. So go ahead, inhale, hips come up. And exhale, back into our yogi squat. Beautiful, inhale, we lift. And exhale, back down, yogi squat. Beautiful. We're gonna go and walk the hands forward, coming into a plank. If you want to lower down the knees, be my guest. We're not going to be here too terribly long. And then we're just going to drop the left knee down. So now we're stretching through that calf on the right side, trying to dig that heel towards the back of the mat. We'll deepen the stretch. If you want to maybe raise up that left knee, it will deepen the stretch using the hands to push the body back. And breathe into that left, right leg. One more round of breath on this side. And slowly we can release into an all fours position here. We're going to go ahead and take that left leg back. So stretching through that left calf now, pushing through the hands to deepen the stretch, digging the left heel towards the back of the mat. And if it feels good, you can lift up that right knee, deepening that stretch, continuing to push back through the hands here. And 
coming back to our breath. And we'll take one more round of breath together here. And slowly allow the knee to come back down into our all fours. We're here, so let's take some cat-cow. So inhale, chest lifts, gaze goes up. And on the exhale, we round here, really pushing up through the shoulders. Inhale, that chest lifts, gaze goes back up. Exhale, we round. Let's take one more together. Inhale, lift. And exhale, we round. Very nice. Let's go ahead and tuck the toes, send the hips up and back. Nice bend in the knees here. Maybe coming up onto the tiptoes. Really bending through those knees, You're trying to get the belly to touch the thighs here. Beautiful shoulder stretch. And then let's go ahead and walk our dog. back to the feet so we're in a standing forward fold at the back of the mat you can grab opposite elbows just finding what feels good we're going to be here for three rounds of breath if you want to interlace the hands and allow the shoulders to have a stretch you could do that too or maybe just find in that nice way left to right here forward slowly coming back into our downward dog very nice job we're gonna inhale that right leg up three leg dog take some pulses here so one two three four five roll it forward and step it to the outside edge of that right hand you can lower down that back knee or you can keep it lifted if you like here we are with our lizard. So we're just gonna start right here. Not allowing that foot to roll to the outer edge and not coming to the forearms. Just staying right here first. Breathing love into that tight right hip. Now, if you want to go a bit deeper, you can right, bring this right hand to the right knee. Maybe just give it a little added pressure. You can pivot to the outer edge of that right foot if that feels nice for you. The sensation is in the left hip flexor and the outer right hip. Almost getting into that piriformis. If you want to take it another step farther you can reach it around to grab that left foot and pull it towards you we're breathing here we're not holding or clenching that breath and if you want to release that foot come around to the forearms We'll take a few rounds of breath here.
heel is over. We'll peel back up to the hands. And we'll heel toe this right foot into the center line. And on an inhale, we're going to rise up. And we're in our low crescent lunge here. Arms up overhead. We'll just take a round of breath here. And then we'll come into half splits. Hands can come to the mat. Push back to square the hips. Right heel is digging down. This is the beautiful hamstring stretch. You can inhale to lift and exhale to fold here to find some movement. Or you can just find stillness. Whatever the body's calling for. We're just going to be here for a few rounds of breath. slowly we'll peel back into our low lunge hands on the mat and let's go ahead and plant the hands tuck the back toes and send this right foot back to meet the left you can do knees chest chin chaturanga to up dog or you can just push back and meet us in down dog just listening to that body listening to how you feel and following it Either way, we all meet downward facing dog. We'll just go ahead and take two rounds of breath here. Next inhale, lift that left leg up and let's take those five pulses for one, two, three, four, five. Step this left foot to the outer edge of that left hand. You can leave the back knee lifted or you can lower it down. Once again, hands on the mat, just feeling into this left hip for right now. Warming it up slowly, just like we did the other side. Coming back to that breath, coming back to your control, and utilizing it, not focusing on the tightness, focusing on the breath. And take the left hand off the mat maybe push against that left knee to come onto that outer left foot deepen in this stretch you're gonna feel this all down this left outer hip like I said on the other side almost tapping into that piriformis and you probably definitely feel this on that right hip flexor the more up you bring your upper body the more that hip flexor is stretching and saying hello there how are you doing when you lift this back right leg, if you want, if you tried it on the other side, you're gonna deepen that hip flexor stretch. And we're just gonna meet ourselves here with the breath, right? That's what gets us through these poses. One more round of breath here. And you can release that foot and come down to the forearms if it feels good for you. And we're just going to come here for a few more rounds of breath and stillness. We'll take one more round of breath here.
And slowly bring the upper body in and we'll heel toe this foot to the center line. And on an inhale, we'll rise up, low lunge, arms up and overhead. Really feeling that hip flexor on that right side here. Once again, the more this upper body lifts and comes back, the deeper that stretch on that hip flexor. Beautiful. Hands can come back to the mat, pushing back, half splits, left heel digs into the mat here. Same things on this side. If you want to inhale to lift and exhale to fold, it's a beautiful stretch. Giving yourself some grace here. Hamstrings are a beast. And the more we use our legs, the tighter they can become because they're becoming strong. So we just want to come here to make sure that we're going to remain mobile and stretchy. So while this may give off a little discomfort, we need this. As always, there should never be any stabbing, shooting, nor sharp pains. Meeting yourself at your level of discomfort is exactly what we're going for, but not painful. We'll take one more full round of breath here. And then we'll roll back through our low lunge, hands plant, back toes tuck, send this left to meet the right, plank. We're going to vinyasa or you can meet us in down dog, whichever option you choose we'll meet in down dog and then we'll take two rounds of breath here and that feels good on an inhale that right leg lifts three leg dog open the hips Maybe look under that left arm for that right foot. And then allow the feet to drop back, coming in wild thing. Chest is lifted here. Coming back to the breath. And we're coming in for pigeon. So right hand's gonna plant. And this right knee's coming towards that right wrist. Left foot straight behind us. Left leg and foot straight behind us. Let's go and sit up tall. And exhale. We can come forward here. If you want to use that block under this right hip, please be my guest. Slowly we'll rise up. We're gonna give a try for mermaid. And you know, if King Cobra's in your practice, see my guest, have at it. Otherwise, we're gonna lift that back leg up and maybe try to grab it with this left arm and then maybe hook it right here on this left inner elbow. If it feels good, you can take that right arm around to meet the left. Only if it feels good. If this doesn't feel good to you, you can stay in pigeon or you can just work on bending this left leg. It's definitely an extreme pose. It's not easy. We'll all take one more round of breath here. 
and slowly wherever you are we're going to peel back out into plank and then we're going to vinyasa and everybody will meet down dog and we'll be here two rounds of breath before we go to the other side ready on an inhale that left leg goes up three leg dog open up those hips maybe looking under that right armpit for those left toes and then we're gonna bring it forward coming into pigeon the right leg and foot straight behind us if you want to use the block under this left hip be my guest we're gonna come here and sit up tall first. And then exhale, we can fold over this left leg. Coming back to the breath, back to this little low cave that we have created here. Take one more round of breath. And slowly we'll just peel up. Same thing on this side. You just want to play with pulling this right leg in. Be my guest. It's still a difficult process here. It's very stretchy. Maybe hooking it on that right elbow. And then maybe reaching left arm right fingers to meet right fingers. Coming back to the breath here. Wherever you are, we're going to take one more round of breath. And ever so slowly, we release. Everybody pushes up and back into our plank. And then let's vinyasa or meet back into our downward facing dog. Choice is yours. Two rounds of breath. Come up onto the tiptoes here. Bend through the knees. Big hop. Big, big hop. Top of the mat. Inhale, we halfway lift. And exhale, we fold. Lower down the hips here, coming into a little squat, arms out front, and slowly we sit back. Go and send that right leg out, left foot tucks into the right leg here. If you want to prop your sit bones up on a block here, it would give you some room, give you some extra stretch and space. Inhale, arms up, hinge from the hip to fold over this right leg. Coming back to our breath here.
slowly peeling up and let's go to the other side left leg goes out right foot tucks into that left thigh inhale the arms up and we hinge from the hips to fold over this left leg of course noticing the difference between the sides noticing the difference in thoughts between the sides Take one more round of breath here. And slowly peel up. We're gonna do some core work. So if you wanna rock and roll, be my guest. Here would be a wonderful time to do it. And we're doing Stephanie's favorite core work ever. So if you wanna go ahead and get on your back, legs up. Our Kali Mudra, or Charlie's Angel, instructing all of those negative forces, negative thoughts can be gone, okay? And when we come up, we're gonna allow that left leg to drop. We're gonna come up twice, both sides, and then we're gonna reverse it. If you've never done this with me, you're in for a treat. So, left leg lowers and up, down, up, switch the legs, up, down, up, switch legs, up, down, up, switch them, up, down, up, switch, up, down, up, switch, up, down, We'll do each side one more time. Up, down, up, switch, up, down, up. Hug those knees in. Give yourself the biggest hug you've given yourself all day long. Mm -hmm. We're gonna rock up into our yogi squat here. Wherever you are, it doesn't have to be any point of the mat. Using the elbows to push against these knees, lifting through the chest. Now we started this off this way. So we're gonna notice how we feel now doing the yogi squat to forward fold. So hands come to the mat. Inhale, we lift. Notice how much more depth you can get. And back into yogi squat. Mm-hmm. Inhale, we come back to our forward fold. One more time, yogi squat. And forward fold. Beautiful, you can hang and ragdoll here. This is our last pose of the practice. And slowly, we are all going to meet in a comfortable seat. If you would like to take Shavasana, you can go ahead and come there. Otherwise, we're going to bring the hands to the knees, up or down, choice is yours. We're just going to sit here for a few moments in peace and calm. Allowing all that beautiful energy work that we just did to absorb into ourselves.
being the observer of the thoughts, not letting them get ran away or keeping them at your side. And soften through your forehead. Unclench your jaw. Release the tongue off the roof of your mouth. Roll the shoulder blades back, crown lifts up. up and overhead and all exhaling down through heart center the light in me honors and acknowledges that bright shining light within you namaste thank you so much for joining me today please do comment let me know what you thought about that and how did the mermaid go for you I'm curious and I would love to know Thanks so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you back on the mat tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day.